Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be going over my filming setup video. I've been dying to do this. I love watching these types of videos. Um, so I figured I'll do one myself since my room is pretty much set as I want it to be. I don't really have anything to update at all. Um, but I wanted to come through and show you guys my filming setup as far as my lighting, my camera, um, audio, backdrops, things like that. I'm going to be covering all of that in this video. So it might be a lengthy video. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your wine, whatever, sit down, hit play. And you know, you guys are stuck in the house anyway. So you guys, what else do you have to do? Like really, what else do you have to do? So definitely stay tuned if you guys want to see my filming setup video. Um, make sure you subscribe and uh, turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. And yeah, let's, let's get into this video because it's going to be a long one. Okay, so we are just going to hop right into the video because I did say that this was going to be a long one due to the content that we are talking about. Um, so the first thing a lot of people ask when you are making YouTube videos or any kind of videos for that matter is what kind of camera do you use? The kind of camera that I use is the Canon T5i. I've had this camera for, I want to say like six years maybe. Yeah, like four five or six years I've had this camera. Um, I really, really like it. It has autofocus. It has a flip out screen. Um, I can interchange the lenses. Um, I love it. It's just a perfect camera for me. I haven't really dug deep into the settings and auto settings and things like that. Usually whatever my camera set to, I'm good on. Um, the most thing that I would do is set my custom white balance. I do do that. Um, which is really really simple. So I do do that. But other than that, I don't really get into the schematics of the camera to be honest with you guys um, I'm sorry um, I do kind of watch other people's videos and alternate my settings based off of that Honestly, if I alternate my settings, I, I just I just I just don't have time for that I just I just don't have time and the way my room is set up everything is pretty much like sit hit record like that's how my room is It's super functional it's not like I don't want a whole bunch of riffraff so it's pretty much sit down hit record and I'm good to go um, so that is it as far as the type of camera that I use um, also another camera that I use and I use this one for like vlogging or this is the camera that I use when I'm filming in the shower specifically because like I said everything is in this particular room does not leave this room um, and I use the Canon EOF M10. This is the original mirrorless camera that they came out with. I know there's like an M50 now and all these other things, but this is like, I believe the original one that they came out with. Um, I do use this camera. I love, love, love this camera. The only thing that I do wish is that it had a external mic, which I know some of the newer versions of this do, but I just don't want to upgrade. Um, this does have a flip out screen so you can see yourself if you're like vlogging like this or whatever, or even when I'm filming in the shower, I do. Um, flip it up so that I can kind of see if I'm in focus um, but yeah so I do love this camera as well so I do have this camera as well it's a little um, it's not as expensive as I, I feel like they're kind of the same now at this point but um, you can film with one or the other um, I just like having a big DSLR sitting right here that doesn't move out of this room anything that I do outside of this room I'm filming on this camera. I do take pictures on this camera and things like that. So this is the camera that I take with me on the go or anything that is done outside of this room. I also use this camera to take the product pictures for my website as well. So just a heads up on that. And I do have a few lenses for this camera. If you guys want me to do a separate video talking about the lenses that I have, um, let me know and I will do a separate video. This video I'm just going to specifically talk about the setup that I have going on right now. Um, and I'm also gonna be using this camera to take the B-roll for this video as well, so you guys know. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with my tripod, which I'll kinda cut to like a B-roll of the tripod that I do have. The tripod that I have is specifically for the Diva ring light, which is 
bomb. I love this tripod. I originally was using another one, um, which is by Targus, which I just pretty much use that for when I'm using this camera now. But I love this tripod stand. It can go up and down. It can like pan, which I don't really use that often. But the main thing I bought this is because I wanted my camera and my ring lights and everything to be on one thing. I didn't want to have two separate tripods. I didn't want to have one for my ring light, one light, for, one for my camera. This holds everything, so it is so sturdy. It's a little pricey, not that pricey, but it's it's a it's a heavy duty stand. I got it from the DVE store, which they do you can ship through Amazon, so you can use Amazon Prime, I believe. Or I don't know if it's available through Amazon Prime, but um it's from the DVE store. Pretty much all of my most of my stuff that were like expensive came from the DVE store. I love this freaking tripod. It is phenomenal. Um, I'm glad I made the adjustment and bought it. So I love this tripod. It is the bomb. It holds my camera. It holds my ring light and it's just super sturdy. It does not wobble. It's just a bomb ass tripod stand. So love that. Um, next is, um, I'm going to talk about my lens. I do use three different lenses when I'm filming. Um, the one that I have on my camera right now is the Young Now, Young No, I don't really know how to say it, but Young Now, it's this brand here. It is their 35 35 millimeter lens. This is the one that I feel like is the safest distance for me to do my hair. Um, if I'm doing a getting ready with me and something that I just need, like, it's like the perfect space for me. And I can't touch my camera from where I am. I'm probably about an arm and a half away from my camera. So I feel like this is the perfect distance for me. Um, I also use a 24 millimeter lens and I also have the Canon 50 millimeter lens. Oh, let me show you those. I think I have them in here. This is the Canon 50 milliliter. Um, it's just a tad bit closer. So instead of you guys seeing a lot of my background, you'll see like mostly just like my face. You won't see too much of my background and maybe a little bit of my lights, but um, the 50 milliliter lens is really, really good. The thing I like about this one versus the 35 millimeter that I have on here is that the autofocus on here is hella loud, um, which is why I had to remove my microphone from that because it's just so loud. But nonetheless, um, it's kind of like similar distance, but you won't see as much as my of my background with the 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter. And then I also have the 24 millimeter as well. I like this lens if I'm like filming with another person or something like that. But for the most part, I do use my 35 millimeter because I feel like it's a good head to chest to ratio enough of my background. I do get kind of like a nice bl blurry background as well. So I do like this lens as well. I will do a separate video on all the lenses that I do have and use. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Or if you guys are interested in seeing that video, let me know down in the description box and I will go through each lens and kind of show you the difference of each lens as well. I did do a comparison before of my 50 millimeter 50 millimeter and my 24 millimeter on my uncut channel. So I will have that video up in the cards for you to check out if you guys are interested in that video as well. Next is probably my favorite thing. Um, and it is lighting. Lighting is just so freaking important. It's one of those things that I really had to chuck it up and just spend the money on. When I originally started, I used to use these three, these two lamp lights. And when I was filming back at my mom's house and I was in my room, I had like these three lantern kind of lights from Walmart. And I just put daytime light bulbs in there, which it worked for what I was doing at the time. And then as my space grew and my channel grew, I just really wanted to just up the professionalism of everything. And I really wanted the room to be, I don't know, just a nice setup, so to speak. So I 
eventually invested in some lighting. I got the Diva Ring Light. I did have another one before this one, and then I upgraded to this one. I had another one that was from the DVE store. No, it was from Stellar Lighting. Um, I had that one, and then I wanted the Diva Ring Light. So then I sold the Stellar Ring Light, and so now I have the Diva Ring Light Supernova from the DVE store, which is my main light right here, which is the one that I originally started with. I didn't have any extra lights. I didn't have anything like that. Um, I just had the ring light. It was really, really great. I loved it. Um, the only thing was when I filmed at night, I just felt like I wasn't getting enough light. And then eventually I got two beauty dishes, which I love these freaking beauty dish dishes. If you guys, when I, you know, you'll see the B-roll. I love these. They aren't super big, but they are powerful. And this is exactly why I bought them. Um, DVE store, they do have these things. They used to have these things called Lotus Lights. I don't know if they still have them, but they were like massive. And I was originally gonna get those and then they came out with these. And these things are the bomb. They do not get hot. I am not sweating. I am not, like it's cool in here. Like it just feels, regular in here. So I love all of these lights all together. I do have two beauty dishes, which I kind of do like the three point lighting. Um, so I do have two beauty dishes and a ring light and it is just the perfect light for me. I will show you guys really quickly without the, so this is me just with the ring light on. I don't have the two beauty dishes on. Um, so you guys can see it does give really good lighting, nice even light, but if you just want to like light more, like, but my background is pretty dark. If you want to light more of your background and just create some dimension between the two, you need kind of extra lighting to do that. Um, but the ring light to start off, if you're just starting off, just get a ring light. I know there's some cheaper options available on Amazon, but I really wanted to invest the money that I did have and buy me some pretty much professional quality lighting. So I did spend a lot of money on these. Um, you don't have to, but I did. So just tell you guys, I did. Um, so this is with one beauty dish on and my ring light. And then this is with um, both of my beauty dishes on. So as you can see, like the background just got a lot brighter and everything like that. So I just, I just, I just love this setup. And I do have a remote for my two beauty dishes. I used to have one for like, there is a third one on here, but it's connected to something else. So I just hit the button on my, my ring light. It's not a big deal. But for these two lights, I do um, use a remote so I don't have to keep getting up and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, I wanted this room to be a sit down and record type of setup. For my monitor, so there is a flip out screen, like I said, on the Canon T5i, but the it's very, very small. And the distance that I sit from my camera, like it's kind of hard to tell if you're in focus. So I do have a monitor, which is right here. It's a tablet and it is connected to my camera by a little USB cord and I have it connected to a tablet right here, which is usually like right in front of me, but just for the sake of this video, it's over here. Um, so I have that so you guys can see me in or so that I can see myself a lot closer. I can focus from here, I can hit record, I can hit stop, I can take a picture, I can change the settings. Um, if you guys have the Canon EOS utility app on your computer, which I do have that. The reason why I don't use my laptop is one, I don't want to get makeup all over it and have it get all greasy when I'm doing my hair and things like that. And because again, this, the way that I have my room set up is that anything in this room does not leave this room. And since my laptop I do take with me, I do use it for other things besides just um, YouTube and I use it to edit at work and I take my laptop in and out of the house, I didn't want it to be in here. So like I said, my room is set up to be functional and it's set up to be whatever's in this room stays in this room. So 
That's why I have the tablet and that's why I use the nap, the app on the phone. It's called um, DSLR controller. It works on Android. I believe they have some extensions for um, Apple and iPad and things like that. But I have an Android um, tablet. It's an old tablet that I had kind of laying around and I just use it and it works and the tablet, the app works on it. So that works really well for me and it just plugs right into my camera and I can see everything and make any changes to anything on here. So that's the monitor. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to go into my audio. Um, the audio. So originally when I was doing my audio, I was using the audio off the camera, which isn't awful, but you can kind of tell it's a little echoey and it just sounds weird. Um, so I had eventually got a external mic. This is the, it was one like this. I was using for a long time. It was the Zoom H1 handy recorder. I used to just mount it on top of my camera and have it pointing directly towards me. But like I said, with the, mic, the lens that I'm using right now, the autofocus is so loud. So if I use this mic, it, it, it would pick up the autofocus every single time. So then eventually I moved this off of the top and I had it on a little tripod that sat in front of me, which was fine and it worked well, but I felt like when I went into post-production and was filming, I felt like it had like a little noise. And some of you guys have mentioned it in before. Um, I do love this mic, um, but I really couldn't figure out, like I just like some, like I said, I just like everything to be simple, like plug in and go. Um, so I eventually stopped using this and I ended up just getting a lapel mic or lavalier mic, whatever you guys want to call it. It's pretty much a mic here. It's connected to my shirt like this and it just plugs right into my camera. Can you guys see? Yeah, it plugs right into my camera and I just clip it onto whatever piece of clothing that I'm wearing. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it does have a cord and I kind of like why I don't like being attached to anything. But for right now, this is good. I could have gotten a wireless lap mic, but this was kind of in the price range. I got this off of Social Light. Um, I will have it linked. Everything that I'm talking about will be linked down in the description box. So I did the, get this mic from there. It was like 10 bucks and it works really really well and yeah it's just simple plug it in and go for post production and my voiceovers i use the yeti blue snowball mic which that is connected to my actual imac computer um i'll have a picture of it somewhere that that mic i actually use for my voiceovers um if you guys are looking for a easier or quicker alternative you can easily just use your phone um, the voice memo on your phones work great. I did use that here and there. I kind of use that sometimes, like if I'm filming on my laptop, top, I'll do that. Um, or editing on my laptop, I'll do that. But for the most part, I do film most of my, or edit most of my stuff on my iMac. So I do use the blue, I think it's called the Blue Yeti Snowball Mic. You'll see it in the video. Um, another thing I want to mention is your battery. Um, I do not have, I only have for my Canon, I only have the battery that comes with the camera. And they actually have a an adapter that just plugs into the wall. So I do not have a battery, an actual real battery that's rechargeable or anything in my camera. It's an adapter. It's literally just plugged in. It's like inserted in, into the camera and there's a cord that literally goes in and plugs into an outlet so that my battery never dies. That was one thing I used to hate when I first started doing boots. I used to have two batteries, but I think I still have two. I just, I just, they're just in the drawer somewhere, but I still have two of them. Um, but I just always had to keep one on charge and then it would die and I would pick it up. And blah, blah, blah. I, like I said, I wanted my setup. I'm more motivated to sit down and film when everything is just ready to go. So again, I set this room up to be functional, not pretty, functional. So that's what I did and that's why I got the AC adapter that way. I don't even have to worry about ever my battery ever freaking dying, ever. Um, what else? Oh, SD cards, very important. Get you some SD cards. I keep mine in this little case right here. The one that I use the most is the, the 128 gig. Um, I, I do have, um, 32 gig and 64 gig but the ones that I use the most is the 128 gig SD card and I use the scan disc ultra or the extreme 
whichever one that I can find that's like on sale, but I usually only get the 128 or the 64 gig. Um, those are the ones that use the 128. Like I can film for days and not run out of space. So I really, most of the time use the 128. Um, the 64 kind of has the same effect, but I don't know, just the 128 just makes me feel like safer. And I just use that one most of the time. Um, what else? For editing, I use iMovie. I don't use Final Cut Pro. I know that's kind of like the one, but that kind of Final Cut Pro is $300. Like, I'm not there yet. And I'm just getting comfortable using iMovie. Um, iMovie, it comes with any Apple. It's on the iMac. It's on, it's, it's free. Um, so that's what I use. I try to, like, where I invest my money into the stuff that matters the most to me, which is the visual of my videos. So my lighting, my camera, my audio, those are the types of things that I concern myself with. Lenses, I'll invest money in like that. iMovie, it works just fine. And if you want to get a little fancy or work on things, you can also use Keynote. Keynote, you can create slides, green screens, um, transitions and things like that. So if you ever need to just keynote is something again, that's available on Apple. Also, there are two girls here on YouTube that they create green screens that you can download and use in keynote. Um, I think her name is Gabrielle Marie is one in X editing <clears throat> as well on YouTube. Sometimes I'll check out their channel. Sometimes they have like night cute little animation green screens that you can include into your video and things like that. So you can always find ways to work around um, using free things. If you don't know what Keynote is, definitely check out one of those two channels. That's how I kind of find out, found out about Keynote. And it really, really helped with kind of upping, um, the animation, <clears throat> upping the animation and transitions and things like that in my videos. So definitely check out one of their videos and you can easily just start there, especially if you have Apple, they are really, really helpful and you can just use some of their animations just make sure you credit them in your video which I always do if I use any of their animations um, so now I'm gonna kind of take you around the room a little bit just to show you guys the things that I couldn't mention in the video that you guys actually have to see like I'll go through my backdrop setup and how I did that and yeah so let, let's let's hop into just a quick run through it. I'm going to take you guys just through my backdrop and what I did. Um, just over here, I have my uh, PR stuff in like my blow dryers in there just because I was just using it and I kind of cleared it out the way. But for my background, this is kind of like the basic of background that I have when I don't really feel like setting up any backdrops. Um, I have all of my makeup brushes back here. Um, this little thing I got from Marshall's that was a gift and I just kind of repurposed it and just put a tea light in there um, and then these are all of my makeup brushes and these are the brushes that I use pretty much all the time the ones that are right here these are like all my elf brushes and then these are all my Morphe brushes um, this little backdrop here this is actually a window that I blacked out. I just put up some kind of blackout contact paper and I hung these fairy lights just with some command hooks um, up at the top. And I just put these um, curtains from Ikea and that's kind of like my basic normal backdrop that I my go-to backdrop so that's it I might add a few more things like I feel like shit and some greenery or plant or something I don't know but this is good for now and then this little shelving unit is from Ikea and the black baskets are from Target um, they fit perfectly in here and I pretty much have a lot of like my extra filming extra like makeup or stock makeup back here um, and I also have my in this bin specifically I have all of my fabric backdrops in here um you know backgrounds and things like that um so yeah so that's pretty much the backdrop so this is where I sit for the most part I do keep my space pretty organized um I just did my makeup so I usually keep um some bins here um my these is like all my eyebrow stuff and then this is any makeup that I'm going to be using for the video whatever video it is that I'm working on so I usually keep that there this is my microphone just hanging out um, and then these were the hair products that I was using today so usually all this stuff isn't on my dresser like this but I usually try to keep it pretty neat 
Um, I do keep this thing here for any of my dirty brushes. Um, I put my beauty blenders in here that I'm using and this is just a little brush stand for like brushes that I'm using while I'm filming. I kind of like use them and like stick them there if I'm going to grab them again. And you guys see my monitor there so you guys I can see myself. I also have this mirror. It does have extra lighting if I need something extra. Um, but I usually like it because it is Bluetooth and it connects to my phone. It does dim down and then off. Um, that's from Impressions Vanity. And I usually set it right here in front of my video. Like so. I usually turn it long ways because sometimes if it's high up, depending on what lens I'm using, you can kind of see like the top part of it in the video. So, so I usually keep that there and then I usually have my monitor. So that's usually the setup. I usually have my monitor set like that, my mirror, and then my camera. So that's usually the normal setup. Um, this little thing here is just like a little pad to like wipe off my brushes in between colors. Um, and I keep a towel down so I don't ruin my countertop. Um, this here, so I have all the drawers open because I was showing you guys stuff. Um, this here is from Ikea. I have, these are the black, um, Alex drawers, the five drawers. I have one there. And on that side, and the countertop is also from Ikea, and it is the, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a kitchen countertop, and I just had it cut down. Um, I have a friend that can cut stuff, so I had him cut all of that down so that it's not so long, because it's actually like a 98-inch countertop, and I cut it down to like 50 or so or something. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much where I sit. The chair I actually found on Facebook Marketplace. They do have it on Impressions Vanity as well, but somebody was selling it on Facebook Marketplace. They had two of them. Um, the other one was white and I just put it in a different room, but I love this chair. It was the chair that I actually was going to get from Impressions Vanity, but it was like two for 50. So yeah, <laughs> that saved me a lot of money. And then this is the rug. I have it on both sides of the room um, that I got from Wafer. I love, love, love this rug. I really only got a rug to help with the echo in this room. Yeah. Um, but I do found that it does help with the echo a lot because other than that, it was just the hard gray wood in that I can tell it was a big echo. So that helped a lot. So I got two of them on this side and the other side. And I'll just show you a little bit of this corner. So this is just an extra look at, look at that fucking heater but <laughs> nonetheless this is an extra beauty dish that I have it kind of bent it like dropped one day and it like bent here so that's kind of annoying but I really only use this light if I film in my bathroom so I'll just take this one and taking it to the bathroom with me and not in the bathroom but you know set up to light get more lighting in the bathroom or if I set up a back drop like with my fabric I'll use it to light the back rug just to get that kind of little halo effect so that's kind of what I use this for so that's why it's in the corner because I don't use it that often but when I do I do use it and then here I have an extra tripod this is the one that I was talking about the Targus one it's a little cheap but I've had it for years and I'm, I'm pretty careful with my things so it holds up really well for me I know people have hit or miss with this but it literally works the same way from when I got it um, and I use that like for my mirrorless camera um, when I like I said when I'm in the bathroom or I'm filming in the bathroom or something like that that's what that's for this is my backdrop stand um, that I will set up which is why I have that little shelf shelving unit on wheels because usually if I set up my backdrop and I don't want my backdrop super close to me I'll just roll that out of this room so this is my backdrop stand and then this thing here, I'll show you guys real quick. It is the, if you have a Diva ring light um, and you want a desk tripod, that's what this is. Um, I did originally have this first. Whatever. It's a desk tripod, so you can literally set it up on your desk like this. This is how I had it in my old place. Um, you can literally set it up on your desk and you can connect or, you know, hook your diva ring light up to this and also your camera but I didn't want that anymore 
and I wanted I didn't want any kind of camera or equipment on my desk so that's why I ended up going with a larger tripod which is this beauty right here that I love so much and I'm happy with it so so that is it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed um, I didn't give you like a beauty room tour I just kind of wanted to go through my filming setup so I didn't show you guys my makeup I didn't show you guys what are in the bins I just showed you guys one because it pertains to filming but if you guys want to see an actual tour of this room where me go through each bin me go through my makeup and all that kind of stuff let me know and I will possibly do that for you guys um, I feel like that will be even a longer video but if you guys want to see it then hey I'm here for you um but yeah, so that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And yeah, make sure you guys check out my shop. Um, pick up some of my earrings, my butter, my soap, and all those types of things. Everything will be listed down in the description box. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.